It is a chilly morning on the Friday of 25th May 2018 at the Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center Kagurik headquarters at the Lower Kabete. On this day, Kagurik will be hosting a Farmer's Day. Farmers from all over the country will be visiting the center to learn about genetics and have a chance to view bulls reared by Kagurik during the bull parade. Join us as we show you how the event unfolded. It is 7.30 in the morning and Kagrik staff are busy putting the final touches as they await the farmers. As soon the farmers and guests are arriving. The expectations are high from both the farmers as well as the exhibitors who are participating at the Farmers' Day. There are a number of activities lined up on this interesting day. The day begins with a breakfast meeting where Kagrik CEO Dr. David Kios is hosting the various agents that sell Kagrik semen to farmers in various parts of the country. I must say that uh, I have seen growth in business, especially in terms of the inseminators. And at their level, I've also seen them improve their livelihoods uh, because of this activity and to some extent, and actually to a larger extent, to our farmers. Apart from the agents, the event has been graced by other key stakeholders, including the representatives of several county governments, the Vice-Chancellor of Mui University, and as well as some members of the Board of Kagrik. Now with agriculture being a devolved function, it's important to ensure that we do things right. And counties are doing everything possible to ensure that we have a good foundation. And when you look at the crops, when you look at the certified seed, when it comes to livestock, it's good to make sure that we have the right cement, the right seed, to make sure that we have a good foundation. Ours as universities, I to make it short, is to contribute towards the course of uh, this institution and indeed the goal of our, our, our dear government in taking care of our, our people uh, in terms of wealth creation and food and nutrition. Kagrik has been a market leader in producing high-quality semen which has produced champions, a fact that has been reiterated by several speakers during the breakfast meeting. In the ASK and Livestock Breeders Show, over the last many years, the winners of that show are heifers, cows, bred by bulls from Kagrik. And there is a competition that those who win are those who have used the main highlight of the event was the bull parade when the farmers had a chance to see the various bulls in the Kagri catalogue. The fire was brought up and the uh, production system relied on pastures. And bull pastures, not only any pastures. Uh, and also bred by... It was a sight to behold as the gigantic bulls paraded. I must say it has been a wonderful experience for me. Uh, I have been here uh, before, but I have never actually visited uh, the Bull Parade. And what I saw today was, was really exceptional in the sense that farmers are able to actually identify with the actual semen, uh, the, the bulls that are providing the, the, the semen that they are using. After the Bull Parade, there was a session for speeches where various guests addressed the farmers. The main guest of the event was Mr. Harry Gyoche, the Deputy Director of Livestock Production at the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries. The seed is the most important thing of Kulima. Yani tuki shuguliki ambegu, mambo ya uzalishaji, tutafaulu. What do I want to say? I want to say, leo katika serikali, tunaongea mambo ya the four agendas. That is food security, mambo ya health, mambo ya manufacturing, na mambo gani ingine, the housing. Tukifauru, kuwa na mbegu nzuri, tutafaulu. Kwa hivyo, I'm very, very delighted kuwa hapa. Tukiongea mambo ya mbegu. 
Mr. Gyoche represented the permanent secretary in the ministry. One of the challenges that was noted during the various addresses was the negative perception that some farmers had, whereby they perceived Kagrik semen as inferior to the imported semen calling the semen local. We normally refer to our genetics as local genetics. Dume ya kawaida. Lakini kuna zile zinatoka nje tunaziitaga imported. Na kama daktari, uh, we normally fight that one as a challenge, whereby our, our bull is lowered. The quality is lowered through that name of local. Let's, let's always refer to it as Kenyan superior genetics because vile tumeona huko nje dume zetu zile ngombe zimezaliwa kutoka dume za kabete ama zetu za Kenya zinafanya vizuri huko nje. However, this misconception was corrected by the various speakers. Kagrik semen is of a superior quality. A few years ago, we started what we call genomic evaluation of the sires, whereby we evaluate the sires based on DNA. And I should say that uh, the sires we have already evaluated are much, much even better than other sires in the world. We are at par with many, many other sires. Yeah, other breeders in the world. So when, when we received the, the genomic evaluation results, we realized Kakrik semen is actually among the best. And remember, it's also adapted to our environment. After the speeches, Kagrik awarded the top agents as well as students taking courses in genetics. Apart from learning what Kagrik does, the farmers had a chance to interact and learn from various partners of Kagrik that were exhibiting at the event. So what we advise our farmers as a dairy farmer, ukitumia hii chumbi si unaona unaiweka kwa dairy meal ama una mix na chakula si ndio? Unapea ngombe analamba. Lakini hii block it's always hand kwa shed si ndio? So yes peana hii chumbi lakini bado iangie hizi blocks kwa shed iendelee kulamba inaendelea kupeana madini madini mingi kwa ngombe. Block kama hii ni dairy block sababu inasaidia na mambo ya maziwa na bado fertility mambo ya kushika mbegu kwa ngombe hii block yetu tunaita twigalic mindro brick yes utapeana hii chumvi lakini bado endelea kwa block kwa caution the farmers as well as the exhibitors were happy the experience so far is good because we've managed to meet about 200 farmers in our tent today and they are so willing to learn, willing to solve uh, so many issues that they have with their farms and we are so glad that we've met the needs of those 200 farmers. Most of the farmers who came to our stand had issues with the ticks, uh, they had also issues with mastitis and uh, mineral supplementation, which we were able to tackle and uh, by use of our product. I was this, this field day is very good for not only the, those who are involved in AI, artificial examination, but even for the farmers and the dairy producers, it's a very, very important for them. A Kagrik has been a trendsetter in the field of animal genetics across the continent. The penetration of artificial insemination services in the country is growing every year with more counties embracing the AI services. However, more needs to be done. The reason why Kiambu is number one in milk production is because of AI. The Kiambu is doing 90% AI. Let me say it, it's one aspect that has been taken very well by the farmers due to the importance of the, the daily farming in our country and in the region. We know that with the uh, good genetics. That is where our farmers need to be. We need to have the superior genetics. Our farmers need to have superior genetics. And this is something that we believe that Kagrik will be able to provide for us. And in that way, improve the production of our breeds in, uh, in Kiambu County. Kagrik has been growing from strength to strength. And under the leadership of the CEO, Dr. David Kios, Kagrik has audacious goals. We also, in the future, will be breeding the bucks. We'll also be breeding pigs as the boss. 
and also producing day-old Kenyaji chicken. Those are our long-term uh, programs. And in future, we'll introduce such semen for this country, the first in this country. So we'll, uh, the dairy goat there also is the first in, 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 uh, in Africa. And we hope that uh, with time, we'll be able to keep the farmers all the breeding solutions on they need for their breeding needs. That is, in short, what we are doing in Kagrik. Kagrik has plans to venture into production of genetics for other forms of livestock. It has been a successful event as thousands of farmers and stakeholders in agriculture have experienced the work that Kagrik has done. I, I, I want to thank the farmers who came for the field day today that uh, it was a privilege to interact with them. I want to thank the agents because these agents, we are doing what you call public-private partnership. They are the ones who are distributing semen on our behalf to the farmers and the county governments. As the event comes to a close, Kagrik wishes to thank everyone who participated. The work of ensuring that farmers continue embracing the use of high-quality superior semen from Kagrik continues. Let them trust what we do. We, we, we have produced, we have results. When you go to all these shows, animals bred from Kakrik sires are always leading in the shows in terms of beauty, in terms of production. Kagrik is counting on everyone from staff, agents, farmers, and other stakeholders to continue furthering the goal of having Kenya achieve 100% AI use. From us here at Kagrik, we thank all those who attended the trade fair and thank you for watching. We hope to see you in our next Farmer's Day, but in the meantime, keep farming, keep using our superior Kagrik semen, and continue being a champion. Bye for now.